So the countdown has officially started. It's less than four weeks to go until I step on stage in Toronto, probably in a ski suit because it'll be so frigging cold over there in Canada. But yeah, not long to go. So I did my first long cardio session tonight and it's Sunday night. Um, do I feel good? Yeah, I do. Am I energized? Yeah, absolutely. Had an amazing refeed this morning. Went out to a chilled breakfast with my boyfriend. Had a lovely meal. Feel full of energy, even more energy than I would normally because actually I'm eating a hell of a lot more than I would normally do and this is the key you get a diet that works for you you work out which foods your body actually responds to and which leave you bloated and feeling a little bit sluggish and as your body fat starts to drop you find out really what foods make you feel sluggish and have that effect because often when you're when you're bloated all the time you don't necessarily know that it is say chicken bloating you or is it gluten or is it wheat or is it a soya product you just don't know but as you lean down and as your choice of food becomes less you will know and it is amazing how quickly you can resonate and understand your body so it's not just about competing it's, it's about getting to know your body over a period of time so I'm going to be checking in constantly, letting you know how I go on my journey. I'm feeling really good. I've dropped some body fat, which is great already, but still looking really shapely and really curvy, which is exactly what you want. So I've ordered my shoes today. I've got my bracelet. I've got some new earrings. I've already got my bikini, so I'm not buying a new bikini. But Chrissy Nicholson Wild on Facebook, Chrissy Nicholson Wild is making me a glamour suit. So we've got a glamour bikini and a feathered wings selection. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. I've never done glamour before, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think I think these this pink could go with any of these costumes. All I've got to do is work the colours of the costumes back through into the into the wings. Okay. I mean, on the outset, I yeah. but I always do this. I like the black one. <laughs> but look at me. I wear black all the time. Um, so do I. But on stage, I'm not sure how it looks. Do you need something more flamboyant? Black's a really <clears> tricky <throat> colour. I think uh, I've seen this this one. Someone, someone hires this one before. Right. And what I found was that the dead... The black on it uh. was almost dead on stage. So if oh, this okay. was going to go on stage again... I'd be adding colour in here as well, or even A B to to just not make it look flat, if well, you know what, what about I mean. Just, um... So like if we so if we went for this, like we could put I could put start putting pink in here to mm. like bring the pink through. To go with the feathers. And blue yeah. you couldn't because blue's too do you think that's too different? It's too contrasting. Blue's not really your colour so much, is it? I've never seen you wear that much. Well maybe we just go for that. I do like yeah, I really we just do go like for that the pink. One? Do you want me to try it? Yeah. So yeah, countdown is on less than four weeks to go. Go check out my website if you're interested in competitions, which is www.fitfreedom.co.uk slash competitions and see how it works and see if it could be for you. So here goes, ah, less than four weeks to the UFE. So we're doing a little bit of cables. Yeah, less than 
three weeks to go. Wow, just around the corner. I can't believe it. In two weeks, I'm going to be in Toronto. That's insane. It's come around so quickly. So, yeah, this is long, slow distance. I'm doing it every single Sunday. It's not something I enjoy doing. I really love lifting the weights and feeling the effects of using those weights, using resistance bands, heavy barbells, dumbbells, sometimes light reps. And I like the training cycles that you use with weights. However, cardio is the cutting tool that we use right at the last minute. So if you use it consistently, it's great for your fitness. It's not so good for your body shape. Especially since I'm 50 next year, I've got a great stage with 20 year olds, for God's sake. <laughs> it's um, certainly gonna be a challenge um, to get my body in tip top shape, but this is taking out all the excess little stubborn bits. So it's sort of like on the back of the glute here and round here, and especially on the tummy. Um, and the thing is, if you take the cardio up too high, it kind of is what's called interference. It interferes with burning muscle. You don't want to burn muscle, yeah? You want to increase muscle density, yeah, burn the fat. So how do we do that? Well, there's a fine balance, and it's not one, one way suits all. It's about fine tuning it, it's about working out what works for you, yeah, as a person. It's the same with your diet as well. So this is really important. So what your next door neighbor does, even though the, di the diet might work for her, it's not necessarily gonna work for you. So you need to find something that suits your body, that doesn't cause bloat, that's gonna enable you to lose fat, but hold on to muscle shape. And that gives you that great figure that we all want into our later life, that mobility, that strength. Yeah, of course we're gonna get aches and pains. We're getting older. It's a natural thing. But if we can look after our bodies to the best of our ability, and that's what I'm doing now. So burn those stubborn bits of fat, shape that body and step on stage with those 20-year-olds. Show them what has really done. <laughs>